I'm back. Road Rants for the Black and White Network. And you may be like, for the what? That's right. This channel is changing again. You might be like, oh, come on, Rhodes. No, we are moving Star Wars content over to the Matrix and Road Show channel, okay? Which is John Matrix's old channel. Uh, it's already an entertainment channel, just like it used to be. But the fact is, I've been covering horror movies and, uh, and, and comics and things like that over on that channel, which is things I used to cover on this channel as well. So in light of that, in light of people being able to get more entertainment content, uh, it just made more sense to move Star Wars over there with more entertainment stuff, okay? Uh, now, you may be like, well, what's this channel going to be? This channel is going to be the Black and White Network channel. Okay, it's going to be a complement channel to our website, blackandwhitenetwork.com. And it's going to cover, and I'm just going to keep it real, things are going to get more political on here. They're going to get political, but hopefully keep, um, keep enough in a safe zone that anything that's too controversial will go on the website. Let's put it that way. And then that way this channel is not put in peril um, in getting demonetized. So um, this is the first video for that. We're going to talk about Matthew McConaughey because he's come out. He made a decision about the uh, governor's race here in Texas. In case you're wondering, McConaughey is from right here where I am. I am about uh, four miles north of Longview, Texas. Uh, so... Uh, he's, he's from right here. He was born in Uvalde, uh, which is down in South Texas. And he has come out and he's made a decision involving the governor's race and whether or not he's going to run. So let's get to that again. Go subscribe to the roads and matrix channel. The thing about it is many of you are already subscribed over there. So this is not is, this is not a big transition for a great majority of subscribers. Okay, most people that subscribe to my channel are subscribed to John's and, and vice versa. Okay, so let's get to this. This is from Fox News. Matthew McConaughey makes decision on whether he will run for Texas governor. Matthew McConaughey announced Sunday that he has decided against a run for Texas governor amid speculation that the actor might enter the race. Quote, over the past two years, I've been working hard on the answer to the question of how I can become most useful in this life going forward. McConaughey said at the beginning of a three minute video posted on Twitter, you can go over there and watch it for yourself if you'd like. Quote, useful to myself, useful to my family and to the mo most amount of people. The Dazed and Confused star. <laughs> That's crazy. They went to Dazed and Confused. Uh, he's got a hell of a lot of movies. And look, McConaughey's got some good flicks, too. The Dazed and Confused star went on to elaborate on his opinions regarding the importance of servant leadership and how he had been considering a Texas gubernatorial run, but ultimately decided against it. Quote, as a simple kid born in the little town of Uvalde, it never occurred to me that I would one day be considered for political leadership. It's humbling and inspiring path to ponder. It's also a path that I am choosing not to take at the moment. McConaughey's announcement follows reports that he was the leading incumbent. He was leading incumbent Governor Greg Abbott and Beto O'Rourke as a hypothetical candidate in polls for the Texas governor, despite not having given an indication that he intended to run for office. Quote, I'm measuring it, McConaughey said on running back in a September episode of Set It Straight, Myths and Legends podcast on Amazon. Quote, it looks like it's going to be in some capacity. I just, I'm going, I'm more of a folksy philosopher, poet, statesman than I am per se a definitive politician. Good grief. So I go, well, that's the reason not to. But then I go, no, that's exactly why you should. Because politics needs rep redefinition, but I'm measuring what is my category, what is my embassy. And look, 
Uh, that is sort of my problem with the idea of him running to begin with, okay? It was highly speculated upon that he would run as a Republican, okay? Most people have always thought he was a Republican. But the problem is, plain and simple, is you've got that influence of Hollywood having been uh, wrapping its horrid arms around McConaughey for the last 25 years now. <coughs> He's a University of Texas graduate. Unfortunately, a lot of liberals come out of that school, okay? And in fact... If you want to know the truth, McConaughey strikes me of more of a what's co called a quote unquote classic liberal, an 80s liberal, a Bill Maher kind of liberal, if you want to know the truth. Okay, so while they're not quite as toxic as, say, the squad, okay, and yeah, there's a lot of difference between Bill Maher and McConaughey and then, you know, Rashida Tlaib and, and Ohan, o o Omar and uh, AOC. You know, I get that. But the fact is, we don't need that in Texas, okay? We don't need that in Texas at all. Um, a lot of polls show that McConaughey would beat Greg Abbott and Beto O'Rourke. Uh, but we know how polls are as well, okay? I don't trust polling. We've seen that go wildly awry, in my opinion. Uh, some of the shadiness that goes on involving polling and how the mainstream media uses that polling to influence potential voters, that's all part of the, the media is the real virus scenario right there. Polling is part of that, okay? Um, I don't think he would have beaten Greg Abbott. I don't, okay? But you cannot underestimate the fact that he is very popular here, okay? But I'm, I'm somewhat skewed because... Him being from this town, okay, most people in this town like Matthew McConaughey a lot. Okay, so um, I still don't think he would have beat Greg Abbott. I don't. I think Greg Abbott's got a much more uh, Texas, uh, entrenched Texas value set than Matthew McConaughey because Greg Abbott's not an actor. He hasn't been in Hollywood. Uh, I just, that's, I truly believe that. Uh, he, doesn't have Hollywood's poison having been shot into his veins over the last 25 years. Big damn difference, right? Uh, so, McConaughey's not running. I don't think he would have beat out Greg Abbott. I really don't. Uh, I know there's a lot of talk about who's going to run in 2024 on behalf of the Democrats. Who the hell knows? I've got this odd feeling it's going to be Dwayne Johnson. Good Lord. Um, look, how about we keep actors out of politics? But the problem is people on the left are always going to vote for douchebags that are actors and actresses, and they get that, that influence from sports stars and celebrities. They care what they think. We could care less as conservatives what they have to offer us. We don't. Okay, we don't want an actor influencing anything. Tell me what you think. Black and White Network fans, that's right. Once again, Star Wars content is not going away. It's going over on the Matrix and Roadshow channel. Again, odds are you're already subscribed over there. Okay, so make sure you check your notifications. Um, fact is, if I'm being real honest, uh, politics will do really well on this channel. Entertainment will do really well on that channel. Uh, so it's, it's a benefit for everybody involved. It just is. Uh, we, needed a, we needed an outlet for politics, okay? And this is an established channel, plain and simple. Peace. I'm out. Till next time.